Welcome to the segment of Home Sweet Home on Vision Global News. I'm Melody Mojica and I'm one of your hosts. And I'm Mark Bowman, co-host for this real estate segment. And this is our feature story for the week. According to the CoreLogic Case-Shiller Indexes, home prices are expected to rise at an annualized rate of 3.9% in the next five years. The largest year-over-year -year price gains were recorded in many of the metro areas that were in the epicenter of the housing bubble or crash, including Las Vegas. While homes in bubble crash metro area markets are still significantly undervalued, the strong investor demand for foreclosed properties record levels of housing affordability and other demand factors that have driven recent double-digit price gains are unlikely to persist throughout the year. In addition, as prices rebound, more existing homes will be listed for sale, particularly those of homeowners who had negative equity prior to the recent price jump. Price appreciation will also be limited by the increase in supply as more new homes are built. For more information on this story, visit corelogic.com. So Mark, how do you feel about the prices that they're talking about as far as increase? I, I, I think it's good news. I, I'm, I'm so happy to see good news after so many years of uh, negative. So I'm, I'm very happy. Yeah, definitely. And I'm sure a lot of the homeowners that were undervalued is now going to list their property, so it's not too late. It's definitely increasing. We are seeing more and more equity sales now, uh, more than we have in many years. So it's a very good sign. But yay, that's wonderful. <laughs> wonderful. Very happy. So if you or anyone you know have questions or need assistance in buying or selling your home, we have the proven track record and experience to help you. In fact, we offer our clients free attorney services for short sales. So please contact us at 702-721-7474. We welcome all of our viewers in California to contact us as well. We've helped many of our viewers already. Remember at 048 Realty, we're the experts and we're here to help you. Again, that phone number is 702-721-7474. Call us now. Also, don't forget, if you have a compelling real estate story you would like to share with us on our show, or if you own a local business, we are currently in the process of revamping the show and gathering our sponsors. So if you would like to be a guest for season two, email us at info at homesweethometv.com. Our guest today is John Pertichizzi of ASAP Security. Welcome to Home Sweet Home, John. Thank you. So John, I know security is a big issue these days, especially with the economy like it is, if somebody was trying to break into your home, what are the main break-in points? Well, believe it or not, most break-ins will occur right through your front door. Looking for someone, they'll ring your doorbell, you don't answer the door, they'll just kick the door in, your neighbors think you let them in the home. The least likely place that they'll break into is usually on the second floor, because it would look a little too suspicious, them climbing on the wall or putting a ladder up against the house. Do you have to have a home telephone line to have a security system? Obviously, you, you're in the security system business. and. Uh, a lot of people just use cell phones now. Well, years ago they were, there was no other uh, technology. But today, uh, with the way technology is, we've got new uh, cell phone communicators for the alarm systems. And okay. more and more homes don't have landlines. So uh, you don't need a landline for, a phone, for the alarm system to work. Uh, we can put in a cellular communicator, it's a lot more reliable. Signal goes through a lot quicker. And there's no phone lines for the thieves to cut. To cut, yes, 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 you see that a lot. Oh yeah. Are they required to have a license or bonded, that type of thing? Well, here in the state of Nevada, the uh, alarm installation company needs to have a contractor's license first. Uh, and they also, in the city of Las Vegas, they need what's called a privilege license uh, so that the owner of the company has gone through an extensive background check. And every employee of the company needs to have a sheriff's card. Okay. All right. And they also need to carry an ID badge with them so that uh, you can prove who they are and... Uh, and if you're ever uncomfortable like, with who's coming at your door, uh, don't let them in. Take a card, take a business name, uh, look them up through the Better Business Bureau, uh, and see what kind of ratings they have, and check it with the contractors board, see if they've had any complaints against them and if they're even licensed. John, if somebody wanted to contact your company, can you let our audience know how to contact you? Sure, you can reach us at 702-870-8880 or our website, ASAPNV.com. John, thank you very much for your valuable inputs. Uh, we at Home Sweet Home appreciate your stopping by. Uh, please don't go away. The Asian News will be right back. For updates on Home Sweet Home and behind the scene photos of our guests, 
and the production crew of V Asian Global News pick up a copy of the Philippine Times at your favorite Asian store. This is Mark Bowman for Home Sweet Home. And of course, I'm Melody, but before I say goodbye, I'd like to invite you to visit and like my Facebook page, Melody, Your Vegas Host, for updates, events, and links to past episodes. Again, this is Melody Mojica. Don't go away. We'll be right back with VH and Global News.